guys. Hi guys, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. So in this video, it's about me and the toasty herb. Now a couple of years back, I, you know, I had problems sleeping. I just could not sleep. And um, my neighbor suggested, why don't you try toasty herb? And I was like, toasty, I'm not sure I know toasty. And he says, you know, because the thing is, some herb that we know as one thing in Jamaica, it's called something else in Barbados and in Guyana, it might be called something else. It's not so the case with all the herbs, but some of the herbs, that's the case. And so I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to get some toasty. And he said to me, I'll get some for you. And sure enough, he got some, he, he, you know, he brought some toasty and give to me. And I made tea with it. I just, you know, took a piece. Um, I, you know, rinsed it off and, you know, put it in my, in my mug, pour some hot water on it and just let it steep because I don't put sugar or sweetener in my tea. I just drink, drink the herb as is. And sure enough, it worked. It worked. Um, it helped me to feel relaxed. It helped me to, you know, feel calm. And, you know, um, I loved it. And so if you are someone who is experiencing some kind of anxiety or, you know, um, any kind of condition like that where, you know, you're constantly on edge, you might find it, you know, um, very useful to add it, you know, um, probably having some tea um in the evening i think the evening is best because if you're trying to work and so forth it's not good to have it in the day because it you know puts you in a state of relaxation and kind of sleep mode so it's best to have it in the evening so you can try toasty and i will say this also always get to the root cause of the problem you know what is causing your stress you know it could be physical physical um, stress, psychological, emotional stress, what is it? Find out what is the source of your stress and address it, you know? And um, yeah, so um, an other alternative to Tulsi could be the um, black Jamaican peppermint, valerian, hops. These are some other herbs that could also, you know, help you um to feel more relaxed more calm you know um yeah in addition to you know helping one to feel relaxed and calm um tulsi is also used for respiratory conditions um skin condition um such as acne and you know even eczema people bathe in it you know wash the face in it it's also used um, for cancer it's a mild diuretic, um, you know, you could use it, um, you know, in an effort to try and cleanse the body. And so there are, you know, different uses, um, a number of other use, traditional uses for um, Tulsi also. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!